Good morning, Patrick Henry. Happy Friday. Today is Friday, December the 18th. This is our last day before we go on a two-week break, and we are so excited. So I hope you enjoy your break, um, but we have a few special things this morning to talk about before we all go on break and go about our day. First of all, we have our VIP, very important principal speech, uh, from our fifth graders. So we will go straight to that at this time. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, parents, students, teachers, and staff. My name is Max Bausch, and today I will be talking about positive peer pressure. We've all heard of peer pressure. Good or bad, our friends influence us. The dictionary says that positive peer pressure is when someone's peers influences them to do something good or positive. It's important to have friends that encourage us and keep us from doing bad things. In a book called New Kid, written by Jerry Craft, the main character, Jordan Banks, goes to a new private school. He leaves his old school and friends, but meets new students. He has challenges like bullies and trying to fit in. In the end of the story, Jordan says that friends are like training wheels for a bike. They always keep you from falling down. What I think he meant by that is that friends are there to support you and be there for you. One way I've experienced positive peer pressure is this year, my friends have a biking group and we meet to ride at the park. This is fun, but also a good way to get out of the house during COVID times. I really like to play video games on the Xbox, but biking with my friends makes me feel like a part of something, a group, and encourages me to spend more time outdoors and get more physical activity. It also really helps me relieve stress, and when I get back home, I feel ready to do homework. I also participate in indoor rock climbing. Whenever someone gets a skill, everybody cheers for them and congratulates them. We encourage each other to learn new skills and help each other um, finish hard routes. We all like to be a part of a group and have friends. They can help us be more kind, be more healthy, or help us make better choices. So sometimes peer pressure can be a good thing. Thank you for your time and have a good Friday. All right, I hope that you all enjoyed the VIP speech and the pledge. We're so proud of our fifth graders. They're doing a fantastic job this year. And um, thanks to Mr. Burke, who works really hard with our fifth graders every week to make sure that those presentations are really well done and very thoughtfully presented. So thank you to all of you for doing that. Right now, we have a special classroom presentation from... Uh, a fourth grade class, Ms. Stark. Ms. Stark is going to present for us today.
Congratulations to all of the students in Ms. Stark's class. You all did a wonderful job with your presentation. Thank you so much, Ms. Stark, for taking the time to put that together for us. We love those classroom presentations and seeing what everyone is doing in the classroom. So thank you for that. This past week, there was a special staff outing that this, the um, SCC put together for the staff. And we have a very special video to show you at this time. I'd like to thank the School Culture and Climate Committee for putting together that staff outing and to thank all of the students who voted on their favorite gingerbread house. Congratulations to the winner. We're so proud of all of the staff members who participated in that. That was a lot of fun, so thank you all for doing that. At this time, we're going to conclude our Friday meeting with some kachas, and I'd like to start with Ms. Yaz in second grade, first of all. She would like to catch uh, Luc Lucia Kane. Lucia is so encouraging and kind to her classmates. She is always the first one to congratulate another student on an accomplishment or tell a student what a great job they are doing. Thank you for helping to make our classroom a kind and welcoming place. Keep up the great attitude, Lucia. Miss Coleman has uh, two students that she wants to catch, Sophia and Chelsea. They take ownership of their learning by attending an optional study session to gain help in areas they were struggling in. They left the study session feeling more confident and ready to learn more. Thank you ladies for going the extra mile and taking that extra important step to get extra help. Great job. Ms. Schwartz in fourth grade has some coaches. Came in Frisbee. Cayman is always on time and ready for his afternoon reading group. Sydney Beck, Fort Gilbreth, Avery Maida, Zoe Melton, Beatrix Power, Carmen Racinos, Javiah Smith, London Tyler, and Oliver West. These students always join the call with their cameras on and their smiling faces showing. They are prepared and they show Ms. Schwartz how they are ready to learn. Kaya Baugh did an awesome job being a leader during a group assignment and making sure the work got completed. Good job, Kaya. Aliyah Cheek, Sadie Board, Esme Campbell, Madeline Crafton, Samuel Greco, and Josie McLillard. Always start my second block with their cameras on and ready to learn. And it's so great for the teachers to be able to see her. All right, Miss Evans has a kacha. She would like to recognize her kindergarten students for being so eager to participate every day. Thank you for being patient and kind to one another. You have all learned so much already this year. These are great kachas from teachers, and I'm so proud of the students. Uh, remember, if you didn't get caught this week, you might get caught next time. So be on your best behavior, be your best self, and try really, really hard in class, and maybe your name will get read one week. At this time, I'd like to wish all of you a very, very happy winter break. A uh, happy holiday to all of you, and we are, are going to be excited to see you all back here um, in January. Get some rest and enjoy being with your families. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.